Forget the stories, forget the writers, forget the artists. This video is all about which DC Omnibus is the best value for money. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and we're back with another video. And yes, it's that time once again. We've already done the best value for money Marvel Omnibuses. We've already done the worst value for money Marvel Omnibuses. We've even done the best and worst value for 2020. So now it's time that we turn our attention to DC. Some of you have been asking for this one and by some I do genuinely just mean a handful of people. But in case you are new to this format, what we do is we take a look at all the DC Omnibuses. We take the page count, we take the cover price, we divide each so that we get the price per page value. This isn't about the stories or what collects the most issues, this is purely an economic list just looking at which of these is the best value for money and some of these selections might surprise you. But before we jump into the list there's some rules that we need to go through, the first one of which is that no books that are up for pre-order are going to be included in this. Come on it's DC that we're talking about, some of those books that aren't yet released are more than likely going to get cancelled at some point and they might even get re-solicited with more issues in them. So I'm pretty much only counting books that have been released before February of 2021. Second Secondly, this list is just for fun, it doesn't really matter what the value for money is in a book if you didn't want it to begin with. Your favourite book of all time might not end up in this list and a book that you really hate might be up at the top. These lists are just for fun so if you're somebody who takes fact based videos like these worse than Jason Todd takes crowbars to the face then maybe this is one that you should sit out. As well the third and final thing that I need to point out is that I got most of the data from mycomicshop.com. I'm probably only going to make about 20 pence from this video so if any of the page counts sound a little bit off I'm not really going to go through and count each each individual page in every single book, mainly because of the fact that I struggle counting past four. But make sure that you keep your page counts up at all times, watch your cover prices, let's touch gloves and get into the list. Coming in at number 25, starting this off with a cover price of $125, it's got a page count of 1,232, which means the price per page value, so every single page in that book, is the equivalent of 10.15 cents. And even though quality doesn't matter for this list, it ranks very highly for me because it's the Green Lantern by Jeff Johns Volume 1. We've then got a two way unanimous decision draw for number 23 because they've both got a page count of 744, they've both got a cover price of $75. And if that's not enough coincidences for you, they've both got a price per page value of 10.08 cents, they're both written by Grant Morrison, they both star Batman in its volumes 2 and volumes 3. I'm just hoping that I wasn't drinking whilst I was doing this spreadsheet and I accidentally saw the same details for both in each box. Number 22 and Jeff Johns is already back again which means that I need to stock up my reserve of vodka because he's back with the book that's got 1,248 pages, it's got a cover price again of $125, it's the last volume in one of his beloved series because it's JSA Volume 3 with a price per page value of 10.02 cents. Then we've got a two way draw for 20th but they don't have any of the same figures besides the price per page value of 9.97 cents. The first one is the recent JLA by Grant Morrison Omnibus, this has got a high page count of 1,504 and a cover price of $150 and coincidentally I recently did a video on this where I talk about all the missing issues that are in that book and if it should affect you buying this. But regardless of if those missing issues means it isn't good value for money for you, it's still making it into the 20th place on this list and it's tied with another book that the cover price is half price of that previous book at $75. Its page count is also exactly half and it's the often overlooked House of Secrets omnibus. Coming in at number 19 with a price per page value of 9.95 cents, it's got a page count of 1,256, a cover price of $125, it's the the recently released but hard to obtain Batman Road to No Man's Land. Number 17 sees another two way tie with both books having a staggering 1,512 pages and both having a cover price of $150. With a price per page of 9.92 cents, the first book is Final Crisis and the second is the recently released Books of Magic Volume 1. Interestingly enough, neither of these books are the biggest page count on this list but we'll get to them later. We've then got a three way tie for 14th place, all three books coming in with a price per page value of 9.77 cents. They all have a cover price of $150 and a page count of 1,536. The first one is Jack Kirby's Fourth World. This is the most recent printing, not the one that came out standard size in I think about 2008 or something like that. The second, and it's placed strategically behind me, it's Grant Morrison's The Invisibles. And the third book to make it into 14th place was one of the most anticipated omnibuses for last year, and it's Green Arrow by Mike Rell Volume 1. But with that, we're just over 50% through the list, and also 
also something that's only just over 50% is the amount of people watching this video that are already subscribed. So that means that there's a one in two chance that you aren't already part of the dog pound and you couldn't be joining at a better time. So make sure that you click that subscribe button down below and get your pulls all over that bell notification so that you never miss a video. As well, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it in any groups that you can or on your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook or any kind of Reddit page. In the comment discussion for this video, which is something that I'm going to start introducing, do you prefer omnibuses that are overly thick and maybe you're a bit uncomfortable to read or an omnibus that's really thin and is pretty much an oversized hardcover? Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below and if you're tempted to pick up any of these books, please do your boy a favour and use one of the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. It does help the channel and mean that the videos can get bigger and better, but for now, let's jump back into the list. Kicking this off again with a two-way tie for 12th place, both books have a cover price of $99.99 and a price per page value of 9.61 cents. This is due to both books having the exact same page count of 1,040, the first of which is the Green Lantern by Jeff Johns Volume 2. This was also the only book out of the trilogy that had a cover price less than $100, but the second one is the 2013 edition of The Death and Return of Superman. Yeah, I've only got the black cover here, that's why it's featured up there, it doesn't actually make it onto this list. But interestingly enough, in 11th place, and this may be a point of controversy, but it's the 2007 edition of The Death and Return of Superman. When this came out, it wasn't even oversized, it's only got a page count of 784 and a cover price of $74.99, which back in 2007 was very expensive for a book, even if it meant that the price per page value was 9.56 cents. Some people might disagree with the inclusion of this on this list, but if so, I'd like to refer you back to the third rule that I said at the beginning. Another two-way ties we move into ninth place, they've both got a cover price of $75 and a page count of 792, which means that they hit a 9.47 cent price per page value, the first of which is Grant Morrison's Seven Soldiers, and it managed to tie with the new Teen Titans Volume 3, but the first edition. Yep, where there was first and second editions of books, I made sure that I included them in the list as well. Interestingly, none of the new, new Teen Titans omnibuses made it onto this list. Number eight, even though I'm sure that not many people can find it for this price now, it's got a cover price of $99.99, a page count of 1072. It was one of the earliest proper omnibuses that DC did, and it's Batman by Neil Adams with a price per page value of 9.33 cents. Then we see another two-way tie as we move into sixth. Both of them have a cover price of $99.99 and a page count of 1080. So when you crunch those numbers, you get a price per page value of 9.26 cents. The first one was the Justice League International Volume 1, and the second one was the DC 1 million omnibus. It's weird because I thought the DC 1 million omnibus had a higher cover price, but no, $99.99. Now, we're moving into the top five. It's getting serious, even if I did say that this is a list just for fun, it's still getting serious. And getting that fifth place medal, whatever kind of metal that they'd use for that, it was the runner up for the 2020 best value list because it's the Wonder Woman by Gail Simone. I know that this was one that a lot of people missed out on, but it was very good value for money because it had a page count of 816, it had a cover price of $75, meaning that its price per page value was 9.19 cents. And I remember when that one got solicited as well, I thought there was some kind of mistake with the cover price because I was just so used to omnibuses being $100. But in fourth place is a book that I don't really think I've seen anybody ever talk about, but it's very high up on this list and it's got a staggering page count of 1,648 and a cover price of $150. That's more than 100 pages more than Final Crisis or Green Arrow by Mike Grell and it's the Batman Arkham Saga. Yeah, you don't really see too many people hyping this one up, but it does have a price per page value of 9.1 cents. But in third place, getting that bronze medal is a book that's got an even bigger page count than the Batman Arkham Saga. I think it's actually the biggest omnibus that DC's ever printed because it's got a page count of 1,664. Its cover price stayed at $150. It's got a price per page value of 9.01 cents and it is the Blackest Night Omnibus. I know it must feel like I'm saying this all the time, but that is the definition of a whammy, whammy boy. But we are down to our final two omnibuses. And when I started out making this list, I didn't think that either of these would be in these positions. They both have a cover price of $75 and they are the only two books that are under nine cents in the price per page value. The runner up with the silver medal missed out by just eight pages because the page count is 856, which means that the price per page value is 8.76 cents and that is 
the Wonder Woman by Phil Jimenez omnibus. Yes, if we were to ever use the term silent assassin when it came to an omnibus, that would be the one that would probably win it. A very enjoyable book that's also very good for your wallet, and there is only one other book that DC has published so far that has managed to beat it. Like I said, it only had eight more pages at 864, which meant that the price per page value and the winner for this video of 8.68 cents is none other than it's over my shoulder, you probably should have guessed it by now, it's Planetary. Yes, Planetary by Warren Ellis and John Cassidy is the best value for money omnibus that DC has published so far. And I think when you compare this to the recent Absolute Edition that has glued binding that I only managed to find out because my friend Comicbound made a comparison between that and the omnibus, all of a sudden this book just looks even better. And it just proves that you might have the biggest page count, but you could still end up not being the best value for money book. But those are the top 25 best value for money DC omnibuses, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed this list. And you know that there's only one thing that this can be followed up by. Yep, in a few weeks I'm going to do the worst value for money DC omnibuses list and at some point in the future I will also do absolutes as well. So like I said earlier, if you aren't subscribed, now's the best time to do it as well. We've also got our live stream this Friday the 19th of February. It's the MDC3, you know how hyped we get during these and I've also got double the amount of guests that we had last time. My good friend Comicbound is going to be joining me again because we had such a great time at MDC2 which you can also catch up on. But we're going to be joined by both Dano's Comics and also Joachim's Comic Center. This is one that you don't want to miss out on, so make sure that you're there half six UK time this Friday. But yeah, I'm going to leave this video there. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, why did you get this far? Check out our social media links down below along with our own Reddit page and the Amazon affiliate links. If you aren't sick of the sound of my own voice already, why not check out some of my other videos? And I'm hoping that I see you all at the live stream, but until then, just make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof, see you at the next video.